when I had my desk right here and um, rearranged it and everything after building the wall that we had to like close this room in. And I like it, like I'm really liking it. I think I need to work on my light just a little bit better. I'm not sure, but anyways, I wanted to go live. I just got this box from Stalls. And if you're not familiar with Stalls, they are a company that offers like equipment for cutting like vinyl products, like for t-shirts um, or stencil vinyl. And they also have like their own line of vinyl heat transfer, different kinds of glitter products. And so the sweet folks over there asked me to um, kind of do a unboxing and like a little review. So, I thought it would be fun to kind of open the box with you guys and show you like what's inside. I haven't opened it yet. I kind of have an idea what they were sending, which was some like heat transfer products because that's what they, um, you know, like it's one of the things that they carry. Um, so, maybe we'll make something, I don't know. I was working on some different designs earlier so based off what's in here, we'll see what we can make. But anyway, so let me see. I'm going to pull up, um, I have my computer right here. I'm going to pull up their website just to kind of tell you guys exactly like what they have. So if you go like on their homepage, they are, um, they have a lot of heat transfer products. They have different, um, you know, kinds, and, and maybe that's what's in the box, I don't know. But they also have like heat presses. They have a really cute pink crafters like heat press, which is so adorable. Um, that's the next heat press I'm gonna get because mine is kind of old and clunky and I don't trust that thing. <laughs> it's in the garage and so you want a brand when you're buying a heat press, like this is a go-to brand. Stalls is a go-to brand for a brand that you like, you know, and you can trust. So if you're in the market for a heat press, definitely check them out because they have like the big ones that swing away too. And so if you're like in a craft business or something like that, then you definitely want to look into those. But they have the cute pink one, which, you know, I think I might be getting that one next. We'll see. Um, and then they also have cutting machines, which they have the bigger, the wider machines. And then they have, of course, um, things for apparel. So let's open the box and let's see. Um, what was sitting inside here? Okay, they taped it good. Um, I'm kind of excited because I've never really done like a craft unboxing and it's live, so that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but let's see, I can't get this quite. This is tape good. All right, let me just kind of cut that tape and this little seal here. Use my scissors. All right, um, okay, customization at the speed of now. That's what the little lip says <laughs> on the box, so it's speedy. Okay, guys, so here it is. Look at this, this is so nice, so generous. Look at this, okay, wait, it's, it's kind of big. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. So, just so you know, like these are how their rolls come. They're a little bit longer. Look at all the goodies. Ooh, I am so excited. Okay, we're definitely making something because if you know me, which, hold on, I got notifications. If you know me, pink and teal, 
are my absolute, like turquoise, are my absolute favorite colors. Like I have that everywhere. I even am like starting to use those colors within decorating for the season. So these are a little bright though, but I think we can make something really cute. Okay, so let me, they kind of told me, let's see, let me move that. All right, so let's go through what these are. Okay, so the first one is this Bahama Blue. Okay, and it's an ultra weed. So let me tell you, this is their newest product, ultra weed. It comes in 37 colors and it's supposed to be your go-to t-shirt vinyl. So like when you're shopping vinyl, I know you guys shop sometimes real big store like Amazon, um, which if you've shopped on there, I mean, you can find some great stuff and there's some great brands, but I think I've had more times than I'd like to count not so great product there. So I'd like to know more so now what I'm getting and that I can trust it. And so Stalls is going to have that with their vinyl that they are having. And this is their, I believe this is a newer product. Um, yeah, so it's 100% made in the USA, which is good. And it comes in 37 colors. You can apply this in 12 seconds on a lower temperature, like a medium pressure, and you can peel it when it's hot, which I don't know about you, but like when I've been making shirts on my heat press, if I have to wait, like even just those 30 seconds for the vinyl to cool, I'm kind of like, ah, hurry up, especially if I have like um, five or six shirts that I'm making, right? Like you wanna be able to peel it hot. So this is a go-to vinyl, and in 37 colors, guys, this is gonna be awesome. Let's see, so they sent this to me in the Bahama blue and the white. So here's the white. So the back of the white is a little more vinyl-y, like matte color, and then, which is the, the side that adheres down to the shirt, and then you know you have your glossy like top sheet at the front there. So just in case, if you're curious, and then like your colored vinyl, just like normal, see the back side is the white, and then you have the color that shows up through the shirt, the glossy um, blue color. Okay, so these are the Ultra Weed 37 colors. So I really, really like these colors together. I'm gonna have to dig out a t-shirt and probably make one here live. If you guys are willing to wait, let me go through these though and see what I have. Okay. So the next one is a premium plus yellow. And so, oh, it says it right here. <laughs> premium plus, it's a yellow. This is a pretty yellow. And for like back to school, I could see making some cute teacher t-shirts. My uh, kids are going back to school next week. Well, we're actually gonna be doing um, e-learning from home, but we just found out the teachers and we're so excited with who they are. So they could probably expect some goodies from me. Maybe something yellow, mod of school bus, maybe something pencil, I don't know. Something cute though, we could totally do something. So the yellow comes in 36 colors, so almost just as much as the other one. Oh, the plus and a limited edition color. So they have eight other colors in this premium plus. And this one is also eight to 12 seconds in a low temperature. Um, and you can peel this premium one in a cold or a hot peel so like when it presses when i say a peel just in case you're not familiar you can actually peel it hey sally i just saw you pop up how are you <laughs> you can actually peel this while it's cold or hot i like to kind of peel it hot i mean i don't mind waiting but when you're making a lot like that's kind of nice that you have the ability to peel it hot and peel it cold so that is almost just as much as the ultra weed here so we got the premium and the ultra which is really nice. And these are really good size rolls. Okay, next is also, oh, in the neon pink, the same. Look how gorgeous this color is, guys. I'm doing, I'm maybe I'm gonna have to, like I'm really digging these together. Mm, what could we do? You guys give me some suggestions, okay? What can I make with that? Maybe some kind of cute, like maybe, I don't know. I have some designs I was working on. One was a rainbow design. So maybe we'll do a rainbow, like, you know, on the shirt, like something kind of cute. Okay, so um, the next thing is glitter flake. So all my ladies, all my people who love glitter, um, this is a gorgeous 
color. This is saying it's a, oh, it's a plum color. Guys, this is gonna be hot for fall. Look at this color. This is the plum. This one comes in 56 colors plus two limited editions, okay? And you can get this sparkle with this one. There's no residue, okay? Which is really good. Again, 10 to 12 seconds to apply this. So you don't need to heat forever in a day. And it's also a lower to temperature. It's 302 degrees. So the other ones were like 280, which is the lowest you could go, which that's like a household iron. So if you have an iron, you don't own a heat press, you don't own any other kind of pressing machine and you just have an iron and you have a Cricut or a Silhouette and you wanna get started making your own t-shirts, this is your go-to vinyl to get the job done and have some really beautiful quality looking shirts. Um, this is like, I would recommend this over buying stuff that you would see at the store. And the only reason I say that is because you want a company who like deals and knows their machines and their quality, and they know what it's what it means to work with a quality vinyl. So um, I can't really wait to try this. Okay, this is really gorgeous. This plum would that look weird with my with my pink here? Ooh, guys, maybe something in a pumpkin. Okay, I'm dropping stuff. All right, so this also they also sent me the same glitter flake. And this, what color is this? It's called a peacock teal. And you guys, this is super gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, that looks amazing right there. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm loving this glitter. Okay, I definitely can't wait to make a shirt. I know I'm getting more excited. Um, I need to get to making something. Okay, the last one that's in the box is a, a flocking material. Okay, and this is in a plum. And I know you can't really see it there with the shiny thing, but this is like a thicker material. So when you peel this away, when you peel away your top sheet, it is actually like a fuzzy material. Um, I don't think I can do it here and show you without ruining it. But if you have never worked with flock, which I only have a handful of times, um, it's a really cool, neat product. You can also do like, um, I don't know, you can do like sports jerseys with this. You can do um, like fall designs with this. You can use it for rhinestone. You can do it for that. Like there's all kinds of things that you can do. So, awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm definitely gonna use these. I'm so excited, the Ultra Weed and the Premium Plus. That's what these are. So the white and the teal, these are the Ultra Weed. They're a little bit shorter. Okay, and then this is the premium, and they both heat at like 12 seconds, and then um, you can peel them hot, or, or the premium you can also peel cold. So I think let's make like some sort of cutesy rainbow. What do you guys think? Yes? I have a design that I was actually um, working on earlier. I will go ahead and share it with you guys. I was gonna wait, but it actually says make pretty things. So these color, these color, I can't talk. These colors are so cute. Let's go ahead and make something. So I'm gonna put, put this box to the side and we're gonna see how these materials actually, whoop, we're gonna see how they actually stand up, like how they work. So let me just put that over to the side and I'm gonna pull out the um, silhouette, okay? And I got a plug right here, so it's perfect. I might have to walk away for a second to get my mat. So let me do that. I'm gonna plug this in, turn it on. Can you guys see everything that I got going here? I got these colors. Let me see if I can get them right here. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to get that turned on. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and pin this specific product. Let me see if I can pull it up on their site here. The first one is this um, Ultra Weed, and that's like the go-to vinyl, right? So that's the one I wanna share with you, I think, most, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and you can check it out and like read the descriptions and everything like that. 
Um, let me see. I've got myself talking over myself here. Hold on just a second. Let's see. I know, right? Uh, um, I don't know if I can make Check it. it All right, let me do a comment there. Ultra weed. Sorry. It is my name. first time doing that. Okay, so Ultra Weed. This is the go-to vinyl, okay? Like all things heat press right here, okay? So let me show you what that is. And you guys click that link so you can check it out. Um, let's see if it, did it put it where you could read it? It may not work. Okay, we will go back and see. Yes, you can click that link and it should take it take you to their website. So check that out because it's the go-to vinyl. And I think we're gonna love this vinyl product. Like I really think it's the go-to vinyl. Okay, let me grab a mat really quick. Um, and let's cut something. So I had a couple of designs up on my computer. And let me see what I have. I also have a sample of that Ultra V right here and this gold that they sent me, but I'm not sure the name of that one. So let me pull up Silhouette Studio and one of the designs that I was working on. And I'm going to, I'm just gonna cut like some sheets of this stuff and make some different, um, see what we come up with, right? Okay, so this vinyl, we're gonna do it left to right on the mat because it is like a longer um, material than what we need. And I like to save my extra vinyl. So once I cut my first little cut of my design here, I'm going to um, like save the scrap, right? Because we don't want to waste the vinyl. Like we want to use it for another project or whatever. So I'm going to cut the teal first. And like I said, I'm going to make one of those modern little rainbow pictures. So let me load this into the thing and let's cut um, this teal first. Let's see, I have to change that to be pink. We're gonna make that yellow and then there's like a little insert. So I may have to come up with a different color there. Okay, so let me go ahead. We're connected. So let's go ahead and cut the teal. So while that's cutting, let me look for a t-shirt because I want to press this on to the shirt so you guys can see like how long it is. So, and I'm going to pull out a handheld iron. Um, I have one in here. So let me, hold on one second. I know that's kind of loud, <laughs> but let's see. Okay. So I have a shirt. Uh, let's see. I think this will look okay, right? On the shirt, it'll stand out pretty good. So that'll be good. And let me grab my little pressing board that I have. I just have this little thing. And we will iron it on this little board that I have here so you guys can see kind of like how I do it like as we go. I think this is going to be super fun. Um, let me just kind of line this shirt up just to kind of you know, do it kind of pseudo here, okay? So, I've got my shirt, and this is just a Bella Canvas t-shirt. These are my favorite t-shirts to wear, like I am a t-shirt and leggings girl all day, every day, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pull this one off, and let's see. Oh yeah, look at that, it cut really good. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here, Let's get the next color loaded. We're gonna go the premium one for this. So this is the different one. Let me see if I can pin the premium one. Hold on one second. I'm, she sent me one link for that one. Let's see if I can get the other one. Okay, so we have the premium plus is what this one's called which it's very similar, but it's a little bit extra. So there's the premium plus. Take a look at that one. That one looks pretty awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our yellow with that. And I'm just, I don't need a ton, but like I said, for this project, I'm gonna cover my mat and then I'll show you guys how I save my extras. 
So I like to cut like the full sheet or the width that I'm going to use. And that just cuts real nice. And then I'll put my roll away and then I'll use my excess scraps like as I go along if it has more places where I need to cut that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't need it to be this long. So let's just go ahead and match it up on the mat here, which is pretty cool. Let's do that. All right, and I'm just gonna cut my extra piece off here. And you know what? I can already tell a difference in the premium versus the ultra. So the ultra weed, to just by touch alone, it's a slightly, the ultra weed is slightly lighter. It's not as thick, okay? So the premium is your thicker vinyl. So if you're one of those people who like the thicker vinyl, you like like that, that thicker feel of the vinyl on the shirt, then the premium plus is the one you're gonna wanna go with. Obviously, I'm mixing the two in this project and I don't have a preference, I don't believe either way. So um, it's just, I'm telling you for your reference. Okay, so let's see, let me go back to my project and I'm gonna select the yellow color and just because this is a premium, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna bump up my pressure on my machine just so I know I'm getting a cleaner cut. It might cut a little too much um, than what's recommended, but I wanna make sure that I get that cut. Now that's machine specific, so if you are working with a specific machine, then you guys know like what your machine you know, might need or might not need. So how many of you have used or have a Cricut or a Silhouette machine? Are you guys familiar with using your machines? Like do you have questions about how to use them? Because I could always do a live tutorial or even a course on working your machines. I'm working with the Silhouette Cameo today. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut the yellow. And while we're cutting the yellow, I'm gonna see where this part of my rainbow ended, which is right here. I'm gonna cut my extra off. And I can kind of see it here in the light, which, there it is. Just wanna make sure I don't cut my thing. Now this is the widest part of the rainbow, so it really only cut like this little section. So what I'm gonna do is just take the middle out of it because even though, like I could weed that away, but I don't really want to because I know I can use this vinyl for something else. So I'm just kind of one of those who takes every bit of scrap she can and saves it for another project, okay? So look, like that's the, my rainbow arch is in there, okay? So I had a tool to weed with. Let's see, where did it go in all my mess? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna weed this first little part of the rainbow right here. Let me pull it back. Oh yeah, look how easy this is weeding. What? This is your go-to vinyl, guys. This is gonna be a game changer. If you, look how, I'm not even struggling with it, like, if you have a cutting machine, Cricut, Silhouette, or something else, you gotta try this vinyl. Like this is pulling away like butter. I'm not struggling with it. And there's a bigger name brand vinyl out there that I used to say was my go-to, but I don't know if you can tell. I'm personally shocked right now. This is nice. Um, Maybe I'll make some more shirts. Like I've been slacking on making this. I, look how easy that's just weeding this out. Oh my goodness. Look at the, there's the arch of our little rainbow, right? Look at, okay, so I'm gonna lay that down on here, get that ready, okay? And I'm gonna get a little carrier sheet. I'm gonna heat up my household iron because it says it can do that. And so this, this little design is no bigger than like, nine by 12 maybe. I've got a little iron here. This thing is so old. I think we got it when we got married and just so you know for reference, I've been married 10, 11 years. So yeah, I think 11. 11. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure how hot it gets, but I think a household iron can do this job. So I'm just gonna plug it in. Let's go 
go ahead. We're going to put it on the um, cotton thing. And I've got a carrier sheet to kind of like help me with, I'm just going to rest it right here, to help me with um, the fabric there. So I want to make sure my design is kind of lined up because sometimes when I'm live, I do things a little crooked. Um, I don't want to do that. Good rule of thumb is though too, guys, when you are making a t-shirt, when you are making a t-shirt, right, and you don't know who the person is that's going to be getting it, I mean, you might have an idea, but like this is a woman's tee that I'm wearing, but you know, your normal t-shirt like comes up here by your, like where my necklace is, right? Like up by your neck. So a good rule of thumb is how far down do you start your design if you don't have a, um, like a guide or like a cheat sheet or anything like that, the best thing is to do two inches. You can eyeball two inches, you can see it, and it will be, you know, in the perfect position just about every single time. Maybe not like, people keep notifying me, sorry. Maybe not every time, but like very, very close. So just remember, two inches down, and that kind of starts like right here where the top of my T is starting, and that's like a perfect little area for a design to be. That way it's not too low, not like up in their neck. It's like in the general perfect spot, okay? So I'm letting my um, thing heat up. Let's see, so we did the blue, we did the yellow. I'm gonna do pink next. So we're going back to the ultra weed, which is the, or no, I'm sorry, we're gonna keep with the premium, premium plus. So this is the, these two right here are the premium plus. So remember, I bumped up the number of cut on this, on the pressure. So we're gonna do the same for this one, just because this one tends to be a little thicker, at least to the feel of it. And I don't wanna, I wanna guarantee I get the cut. Now I may not even have to do that, but since I'm live, you know, I wanna keep it real. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of this just a little bit less actually because we're getting into like the third arch here of the rainbow, right, for this design. And you guys are gonna think this design is super cute. Would you like me to offer this design? I'll put it up on my um, free resource library, which it's been a while since I've put something free up there. Um, so you could actually make this shirt yourself if you want to, um, which would be kind of cool, I think, anyway. Um, we could all be matching and not even know it all around the world, <laughs> right? I can, one, can, one can dream. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my little spare. I'm gonna move to the pink. Let's see, I gotta think of a color that I can do. I have four colors in my rainbow, but this, I got four colors here, but I need white. So I actually have five colors. So I do have a scrap piece of gold that they sent me, which I believe is the, um, it's not in this grouping here, but let's see. Let me get the pink cutting. Let's cut the yellow. Now this arch was a little bit further in. There it is, I see it there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, like where you're dealing, right? <laughs> But if you look close into your light, you can see your line. And I see, there's mine right there. So which way does it go? Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. This one kind of squeezed in. So just for like showing it online purposes, I'm just gonna, like this whole sheet, I'm just gonna weed the whole thing. Um, yes, there's gonna be some waste. I normally would like to keep it, but oh. Ooh, this this weed's really good guys okay so this is a little bit thicker but um the carrier sheet <laughs> okay so when you get to the design watch look this is so easy this is awesome go to vinyl right here ultra weed right let me make sure i have my name right i can't get over how simple this is so yes, this is the ultra weed. It's like ultra, ultra. Look at, oh my goodness, look at that. It's just ready to like come off the page and leave nothing but your design. Like normally you guys know you have to be like, Ugh, with your little tool and be like digging in there. Not with this. This is nice and simple. 
Ultra Weed is where it's at. Game Changer Vinyl, right here. Okay, and so I'm just, I'm really digging this, how it's like super stress-free weeding um, on this. Okay, let's go ahead and iron the first one down, which is my Ultra Weed, and then we have the Premium Plus right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and heat this up. It's only 12 seconds, so I'm just gonna kinda count in my head, and then I'm gonna move it to the other side here because I'm, I have a household iron that I'm using it with. Now, if I was doing a heat press, it would be a lot easier just to do one big press, right? But for purposes here, I just wanna show you how you can use a household iron with this product. And so it was simple, easy to do. It was great cutting it, right, the Ultra Weed. And we'll see how um, simple it is to actually do it with a household iron. So I'm just giving it a few seconds extra of some heat here on the left side, making sure I got it down. And I probably didn't even have to do that much, but let's find out, okay? Now this one, it says you can peel it Oh my goodness. Okay, this does not happen for me with my heat press. I just wanna, let me just show you guys. So here's the start of the rainbow, right? Okay, look at this. I don't know if I can show. All right, so here's my shirt. I barely pressed it. I don't even know how long. Look at this. You can peel this hot. So it's easier for me to handle it laying down. So let me do that. But um, this is, Pretty amazing, guys. It's just coming off like simple butter. Simple butter. I don't, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, look at that. Okay, let me say another way. This is gonna, okay, you guys cannot have my t-shirt, but I will totally let you have the design, okay? So if you've got your machine, look at that. That's the start of my little rainbow here. All right, so we got one more color to cut. Let's go ahead. Let's press the yellow, right? So the yellow is like kind of going up inside. Let me just look at my design. Yeah, there's a little space between blue and yellow, just so you know. And I'm just gonna lay it down in there as best as I can. Okay, so it's kind of like that. See how it's going? This is gonna be super adorable. Listen, if you sprinkle this, I might do a little giveaway and send you guys some of this fun stuff. So sprinkle the video, sprinkle it, you know, like for all to see, right? Sprinkle the video because you guys, if you have crafter friends, you definitely want them <laughs> to get their hands on this, okay? And I, um, she gave me some special links to these new products to share with you guys, so definitely check them out. Um, because this is some go-to vinyl, and I don't think it takes that long to actually get the product in hand. So, um, yeah, just saying. All right, so let me get my yellow heated up all the way. And remember, the yellow and the pink are the premium ones, okay? And I'm just kind of like doing a consistent iron on this, and that way it keeps my heat like consistent, warm, consistently warm, kind of like how a heat press would, okay? Getting a little hot in here. Um, <laughs> the iron right here. All right, so we're gonna peel this one away. It says you can peel it hot or cold. Remember, the premium is um, like a little bit thicker, and it's peeling hot, guys. I love it, I love it. Okay, send me any rolls of this you want because this is pretty amazing and I'm loving it right here. Okay, there's a little spot where, and this happens, I didn't get it all the way heated on the end, so let me make sure I get, you know, the time on that to get it lifted. And that happens, which I kind of suspected, you know, with a little bit thicker vinyl, it needs that extra time. Um, in the box, I got a sheet that told me, let's see, I think it was, a little bit, a few more, yeah. I just needed a few more seconds. So let's get that. Oh gosh, guys, this is beautiful, I love it. Super fun. This is gonna be a super cute shirt. 
Okay, so just to kind of, oh, and it feels like a velvet once it's been pressed. How awesome is that? Okay, let's go ahead and get the pink out. And let me get another color here. I don't know if I have enough to do the gold that they sent, but let's see if I do. Let me see. It's about, I don't think I have enough for the gold. So, we might need to do a different color. I'm not sure. Hmm. Three, four, eight. So, yeah, I don't think I have enough of this flashier color to do that. So let me see, what if we did like the bronzy plum color in the glitter, just like something kind of fun right there. Let me grab that from the box and you guys can check out the glitter flake product that they have. Or do you think we should do the flock? Which one do you guys wanna see? The flock or, I'm kinda digging the glitter. Let's do the glitter, all right? And then I'll share a link with that too. You guys can get the glitter on that one. Um, and this one we don't need a ton either. So let's do, um, just right up the middle here and it's about four or five down. So I'm just gonna go right here to my spacing, stick it here on my mat. And then the, like I said, keep your, um, totally keep your scrap. Like you don't wanna like waste any of it, right? So let's get the glitter flake loaded and we'll cut that part of our rainbow arch next. And so I'm gonna make sure because I'm using a silhouette um, cameo, I'm going to change my product type from heat transfer to a glitter, okay? Heat transfer glitter. And there's also in the Silhouette Cameo, there's a trans, there's a um, choice for heat transfer flocked. So you definitely want to make sure that that's the setting you choose so it cuts according to the correct pressure and force, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to send that one while it cuts. Let's weed out the pink, or yeah, the pink, and let's see what we get there, okay? Uh-oh, I messed up right there. I didn't... I needed to take this down. Let me stop that for a second. We'll have to do that one again. I totally forgot to stick it to the machine. So it pulled it, took it off. My bad, we'll have to cut it again. No worries though. All right, so let me pull the pink off. Now remember, the pink is also the premium, premium plus, so it's our thicker material. That's the one I just shared with you, okay? And it's weeding really good once I get to the design. The carrier sheet on the premium is a little bit tackier than the ultra weed. The ultra weed is nice though, because it has a good stick, you know, so when you're pressing, that's perfect. Um, but because this is a premium product, the carrier sheet itself, which is the clear like part I'm talking about, has a little more tack to it. So you just, I kind of find like I'm pulling just to make sure that, you know, I don't know, that I'm getting it off. But it's weeding very nice. Like I don't even have to use this tool um, on these little rainbows like this. So, okay, look at that. Woohoo! that's so cute. Okay, so let's lay that down into my little t-shirt here, okay? I'm gonna put my little um, carrier sheet on top. Let's get this glitter back into business. Um, let me do it this way. Let's see, right here. And sometimes what I like to do is when I'm using a glitter, which I don't think it's necessary, but my mat is a little older, guys. So what I'm going to do is actually put a little bit of um, tape here on the edges. Sorry, I walked off camera, but um, I'm gonna just put a little bit of my little tape here, and this is just a washi tape. This is not a fancy tape at all. It's just to keep it in place while it cuts, um, because you saw where it just sucked up in my machine right there. I didn't have it, well, I didn't have it loaded right, but 
That was my fault. Um, got a little ahead of myself. So, and this is just to kind of keep the ends kind of down so it doesn't lift while it's rolling in the roller docks of the machine, okay? So, I just like to put a few little pieces, and I use this thin little cheap washi tape that you can get from anywhere, okay? Even the dollar store. All right, so let's get that loaded. And let's cut that. That's our heat transfer glitter. We're gonna send that to the machine. And while that's sending, while that's cutting, let's go ahead and press the premium plus pink down to my shirt, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna press and do like 12 seconds. And really it's best if you have a, um, a heat press, like that's my go-to choice. For pressing if you don't have one though I wanted to show you that a household iron will get the job done okay so again if you're just joining it looks like we have hey Francis hey Sharon hey Joni how are you guys today we're making a t-shirt and I just got this happy box from the company stalls let me show you guys the, the logo so you know what company I'm talking about this is a go-to vinyl. They asked me to review the vinyl and it is weeding like butter, okay? I don't even know if I said that right, but I'm definitely going to be buying all of my future um, vinyl for them from them for t-shirts because they have the glitter flake, they have the flocking, which is the fuzzy one. They have um, an ultra weed product that is so easy to weed. And then we just did the premium, which is even um, easier. You can peel them hot, which means no waiting for, you know, it to cool down before you weed. And so far making this t-shirt has been a dream when it comes to weeding and having all these colors. So I will show you the shirt in just a second so you can see exactly what we are making and after this live i will make this design in a svg cut file so if you guys have a cricut or if you have a silhouette you can download this design give me a little bit to get it up on the blog craftylifemom.com it will be free if you are a subscriber and it's free to be a subscriber so all right look at this all right so we've got these colors going on this is what they sent right? The ultra weed and the premium plus. And we just now cut the little part of the inside of that um, rainbow. And it is a glitter flake. So let me see, did I share the glitter flake with you guys? Let me share the glitter flake with you because their colors for glitter are gorgeous. Like I, I can't even begin to describe on camera um, how good it looks in person. Here's the glitter flake. Check out the glitter flake, okay? Um, but look at this plum, guys. Okay, let's get this one weeded. Before we do though, let's go back to the ultra weed. So remember, the ultra weed is the um, go-to vinyl, okay guys? This is the vinyl you wanna get. This is the vinyl that is easier than any other vinyl I have ever used. I'm not even kidding. This is the first time I've used it today on this live. They just sent me this box and I'm telling you, I'm blown out of the water here. So you need to tell all your crafty friends, like if you guys are making shirts, get this ultra weed because it's gonna make your life easier. You're gonna like make shirts quicker. If you sell them or have a craft business, you're gonna have more time to do whatever with your family and friends. Like, you need to get this, okay? Um, Cause it is so nice. It is so, so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put down the white and I have a little heart in the design and then some writing and it says, make pretty things, right? How appropriate, because this shirt is gonna be pretty, especially with this vinyl. Okay, so I'm going to put yeah, shiny side down. Make sure when you're making a t-shirt, you gotta reverse it. And then I'm loading this into the Silhouette Cameo, okay? I'm gonna go back to my design and I'm going to choose the white. Heat transfer, this is a smooth. 
So I wanna make sure that it's cutting good and nice. We want it to weed real nice. Um, and remember, this is the ultra weed we're going back to. So we're gonna finish with that one. And these are tiny little cursive -y words. Um, we may have to use a weeding tool for this one, but we'll see how smooth it actually weeds. So let's go ahead and let that cut. While it is cutting, I'm gonna go back to the glitter, okay, which is the link I just shared. And I'm gonna put, um, so pretty. Look how pretty this is. This plum is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Like I can't eat. Look, look at that guys with it. Without the transfer, like you got to have this in your life. If you make shirts, this is, I'm so excited. This shirt is going to be, you guys are going to see me wearing it live, like all the time. Okay. So we're going to put that down. Now the glitter Select. I think it has some specific heating instructions. And I'm going to pull that up here just so I know. So the glitter flake, flake, glitter flake, glitter flake, okay, is 56 colors, okay, 10 to 12 seconds, 302 degrees, which is still a very low temperature. So if you don't have a heat press, you can still use your iron for this. It just has to be bumped up a little bit which I'm gonna do that now, okay? And then, um, so you can heat it at 302 degrees, medium pressure, so a little bit more pressure than the others. Um, and then you peel this one cold, okay? Because it's a glitter, so we've gotta give it a little extra care. We gotta wait a few seconds, let it cool down after applying the heat to the shirt, and let it cool. So let's do that. I'm gonna put my little carrier sheet on top here, and we're gonna put a medium pressure right on this one. And this is a small part of the glitter, so that's really nice. So you guys timing me, we're about 10 to 12 seconds on this one. So I'm giving it a little bit more medium pressure. We want it to stick real good. Okay, hey Amanda, how are you? And we are going to see how this glitter um, flake turns out, okay? So just to recap, we have the Ultra Weed, which is the go-to vinyl. We have the Premium Plus, which is a little bit thicker material, but um, it is like a butter soft hand and it has some stretch to it, which is good, especially if you're making shirts. And then we have the Glitter Flake, which is what I am using right now, and the White, which is still the Ultra Weed. So um, those are the three like main ones I could see people using. The other one is a flocking material, which is kind of like that velvety, fuzzy type of material. So um, that would be really cute with like a pumpkin and like some leopard maybe, I don't know. Okay, I keep dreaming about designs. All right, so let's take a look. I'm gonna let that cool. Remember, we gotta let that cool. I'm so happy to like, do it hot. So we're going to let the glitter cool before we peel. And while we're doing that, let's move the mat to the side and let's go ahead and peel the words. So I know I don't need this whole sheet and I like to keep my vinyl scraps like I told you guys. So let me go ahead and cut off my scrap that I know we're not going to need. And then I think there's a little extra down here on the bottom as well, right there. So let's just save this little sliver. We could do something with that later. And then now all I'm weeding is just this like five by maybe nine piece of vinyl. So I'm just gonna start with my little tool at the corner and let's see how good Ultra Weed weeds. Are we ready? This is like the test right here. So. Ultra Weed, just to recap, 37 colors. It's supposed to be the go-to vinyl, which so far, it's been pretty awesome. Okay, and I'm weeding this in the air. I'm putting my tool down. Look at this, these little words, look how intricate. Look at that, guys. O-M-G, I cannot believe it. Like I literally cannot believe it. Ultra Weed is my new favorite craft material friend. Look at this. Holy smokes, it even left the little eye dot. What? You guys, Ultra Weed. 
Okay. This vinyl, this heat transfer vinyl. If you haven't bought any yet, I don't know why you're still here. You need to go get some like now. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the tool to pick out the inside, which is gonna be a cakewalk because the rest of it just came out like butter. Um, and then all that's left to do is line it up on my design and press it. So I'm just getting out the S and the little G. Look at this, how cute are we? All right. This is gonna be a cute little shirt. And I just kind of came up with this idea earlier today. I was working on um, some things that I could make. This shirt would look cute too. This one says, make pretty things. And I have a little heart that's gonna go inside the rainbow. But how cute would this be if um, it said like, teach little people or teach a, look at my hair, like what happened there? I don't know, I've gotten hot. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and press it because that weeded, weeded, that was so good. All right, so you guys know how your glitter, you know, sometimes when you have a glitter material, it gets glitter in your other colors. Well, I'm weeding the glitter right now and it did not get on the other colors from the carrier sheet. It's like not heated into the other colors, which is so nice. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look at this shirt and so you can see what I'm working with now. Ta-da! Look at that rainbow glitter in the middle. Okay, so let's just add our words and our little heart. And this design will be fini, finished. I got a little piece here though. I need to pick up out of the way. I don't know, it must have got stuck from my little thing. All right, so it says, make pretty things, which like makes my little heart smile. Okay, let me see. I got a little piece I didn't get out right there, so I'm gonna do that because I see it. See if I can do it in the air. There we go. I'm getting it. All right, and this is super cute, guys. Super cute. I'm gonna get that piece off there too. I keep getting a little flex, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna just put my little carrier sheet. Remember, warm iron, 10 to 12 seconds. Super simple, all right? So I'm just gonna warm this up, 10 seconds, and then I will show you guys the shirt. Make sure you sprinkle the video because I'm gonna go back and look and we'll do another giveaway. Um, I have some craft kits coming up. You guys will have to tell me in some comments what kind of giveaway you'd like, but make sure you sprinkle the video. And if you're not sure what sprinkled means, it means share it with the world, right? Let them know that they need to get this if they have a cutting machine. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I hope you're doing good. All right, guys, so here it is. I'm gonna show you this shirt. It's a craft shirt, crafter's t-shirt, all right? We are done making it. We have one, two, three, four, five colors, okay? We used five out of the six that she sent me. The last one is the flocking material, which we didn't use, but it was that gorgeous plum color. Let me go ahead and share that too with you guys so you know what I'm talking about um, when it comes to the flock material. That way you can see it and check out on that as well. Let's go ahead and peel this part of the design for the white look at this gorgeous material i'm in love with my new t-shirt look at this let me show it to you look at that who wants one super cute right this is adorable make pretty things guys and be kind right this is adorable okay so that is awesome, stalls.com, S-T-A-H-L-S. -S. They have your go-to products for heat transfer vinyl. And I'm not even kidding when I say you probably will never have or use another vinyl again because this was probably the simplest to use vinyl I have ever had. 
and some pretty gorgeous colors, guys. Like the glitter, okay, and that flocking, the premium, all of them were a dream to work with. And I know I've probably been on here a little bit at an hour. It's definitely faster when, um, you know, it's just you and you're not talking to everybody. Plus we went through every single one of them. So probably in less than 20 minutes, we could make this shirt and probably even faster if you're not talking. But yes, this is awesome. Let me just show you one more time. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, Lisa. Hope you're doing good. All right, so that's it for the heat transfer vinyl. I am gonna come back in a couple hours, um, probably like two hours or so. I'm gonna share with you guys another craft. And so I will see you guys soon, okay? So have fun and happy crafting, bye.